Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we do? Shall yes. we partake in a show? Each one hated the other because each one feared the other because each, each one knew something about the other. Excuse us, we had to. We've literally been, literally been doing that for we a week. We have seriously, <laughs> every time we're sitting here. Giotto, there. call me, we'll be talking about something normal and I'll be like, because... <laughs> <laughs> and then we just lose and they just start talking like Grunwald. <laughs> because each one hates the other. Anyway. Okay. So. Fresh meat. On a good note. Ding. We tweeted live during the episode. Gianna took the notes. I tweeted. Got noticed a lot. Favorited by... like 10 plus times and retweeted retweeted twice, twice by, by PLL motherfucker. Yes. Okay. Not PLL motherfucker, but... But... <laughs> ABC, ABC Family, family PLL. PLL. Yes, throwback, Duncan. Here we go. Yes. I'm allowed one coffee a day. Tootie, if you don't get the hell away from me right now. All right, so... I want to know, first of all, in the beginning of that episode when Toby walked up to the window... <laughs> That woman was amazing, by the way. <laughs> We're done here. But. She was like, can I help you with something else? Uh, yeah. We're done. We're done. Please. <laughs> Peace. Who the fuck was he dropping paper walk? Paper walk? Paper walk. Maybe paper for, walk. Maybe for Allison. Because he did ask, like, why were you transferred over here? Maybe it was for Very Allison. Very true. But he seemed a little, I don't know. He seemed a little surprised to see her there when he asked that question. My hair's falling out. It's not funny. Don't get it in the empanadas. <laughs> anyway. They're next, unless he kills them first. Yes. Can I just point out that whoever said that you glow when you're pregnant and your hair grows and you just look beautiful fucking lied. Because my hair is literally you falling are in out. The first trimester. I don't give a I don't give a damn if I'm in the fourteenth trimester. <laughs> That would be absolutely impossible. My pants don't fit. <laughs> Nothing fits. All right, so Holbrook is taking care of his sick dad, a.k.a. motherfucking Freddy Krueger lookalike that answered the door <laughs> and honeydew. Are we already mobile? on that part? No, but oh. I'm getting into that because that was disgust about Holbrook taking care of his sick papa. He dies. At Honey Melon or Honey Do or Honey Fuck fucking mobile home He park. feared his father because, because he looked like Freddy Krueger. He had nightmares because... I'd have nightmares if that was my dad. Dude, dad. Damn. Anyway, so... Hannah apparently is getting into a lot of colleges because Spencer... Because her SATs were broken, right? Yeah, and Spencer goes to her, how many... Like, she asked the question twice... How many colleges have you gotten into? She avoided that question. She did. She totally avoided that question, which raises questions as to why she avoided that Which question. raises questions as to, I, personally, I'm not saying that Hannah's an idiot. No. I think that A had something to do with how high she scored on those tests. I really do. We know that A is messing around with all of their colleges. Mm -hmm. uh, Mona, or A got a... Uh, Emily got a letter from A about the Dansby whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, then we had uh, Spencer didn't get into UPenn. Was it because of CC? A, nobody knows, but Spencer didn't get into UPenn because of that. And okay. she still and, is unaware of that. Yeah, and also with tonight's episode, yeah, okay, Jackie Molina is the admissions officer, blah, blah, blah. She's keeping Aria secret. I know I'm jumping ahead, but... If she's the admissions officer of one college, okay. But is A trying to prevent Aria from getting into all these colleges? Because she's applied, like, seven different places yeah. and she's, like, getting Doesn't rejection get, yeah. letters from every single one of them. But, so, but it doesn't make sense. All these girls are getting their chances to get to college messed up. Meanwhile, Hannah, it's almost like it's working out for her. Yeah. Like, so, so something's up with that. As to... Who the hell some, is A? Yeah. And are they close to Hannah? Exactly. Exactly. 
Exactly. Because. <laughs> we told you. We just it could be Caleb. Gasp. Okay, so. What the hell was the time jump? Right? Like. Was it a couple of days? A weeks, couple of weeks? Months? Like. Uh, there's like. Uh, Shit thrown all over the place, tarps all over. Arya didn't blow her whistle when she was getting tarped by whoever. He and went then, from having no shop to now it's like the grand boom. opening. I like. Then boom. we had Emily say about how like she, Paige has been gone for a while. Like, so like, can we at least can you at least throw something in there that says okay? Like how last week it was like three months, three later. months later, whatever. Yeah. Can you at least do something like and that? And I mean, I understand that Marlene King is, has said, which we posted on our the Instagram, that time no longer moves slowly and real good. Well, we kind of took that as an audience, like, okay, we're going to start finding stuff out. Not, okay, time now moves very fast and it's going to be months jump between every episode. Mm -hmm. Like next week, what's going to go on? Is Hannah going to seriously be sporting a baby bump? Oh, hi. Hi. Like, or is friggin' they're going to be in college next, next episode? Like, who the fuck knows? Like, honestly, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I already talked about that. Uh, next thing. So, uh, the end of the episode clues us in as to why Jason doesn't want Ashley Marin to go anywhere. He really did not want her to apply anywhere else because he doesn't feel comfortable with him a month. Let him get used to being, feeling like he belongs there, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, I want to get in your pants, Ashley Marin. I Love Jashley. it. It is my new favorite freaking couple. I we called it since the beginning. I tweeted about it. We called it since the beginning. I knew it was going to happen just from them. They didn't even have to say two words. Just from them being in the same room together, I knew it. I yeah. knew it. Now, does Jason have an ulterior motive? I'm not sure, but I'm still he, loving he Jackley. Looks, he looks sexy doing it no matter Woo! what he's doing. <gasps> All right, so... Toby looked extremely creepy. Okay, I understand the knife, whatever, it belonged to his dad. They had it in the cabin. They used to gut fish with it, whatever the hell the case may be. But he hid the knife, therefore obstructing justice, tampering with evidence. But the, the weirdest thing about it is, why in the fuck would Caleb think that his, prince that his and Hannah's prince might be on this knife? Because he just said, because he stayed there for a little bit doesn't mean that like what were you do what were you using that knife for? Seriously, if you think your prints are on that knife, what the hell were you using that knife for? Honestly, and not only that, but like, did it ever occur to anybody in this freaking little town that maybe if Toby had done the right thing to begin with and said, look. I know, like, look what I just found. Like, I know where this knife is from, too. This is my dad's knife. Like, you know what I mean? We know that people, like, the police know that people are trying to set everybody up and trying mm -hmm. to do this and trying to do that. I don't, honestly, I think that they would have been a lot better had he had just come clean about it to begin with. Absolutely. But instead, they make everything so suspicious and so creepy. Like, just fucking tell them the truth. And funnily enough, um... With what went on with uh, Caleb being trapped in that incinerator via Hocus Pocus fucking in the school. Is that where they were? They were in the yeah. But Little Liars tweeted, Does anyone else think that the knife is going to become a horcrux? And it's going to, like Harry Potter mysteriously appear again and i absolutely think so i do not think that it was in that room because if we don't see it then it's not in there and what did they think that doing that was gonna do all it's gonna do is just like what burn the prints off of it you could have grabbed alcohol and just rubbed it fucking down for all that shit it didn't melt it it's a <laughs> fucking knife <laughs> It's not a piece of chocolate like what do you think is gonna happen seriously it's metal. You just put metal in a kiln. Like, you know that it turns clay. It makes clay hard. But it's not going to melt metal. Like, there's sh like the shelves are made of stone. And, like, there's even metal sometimes. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make any sense. What are you thinking? Like, that was the dumbest thing you could have done with it. You would have been better just fucking burying that thing. Like, honestly. Yes. Backtracking a little bit, though. Um, 
we meet Johnny. Mm. Now, we didn't really officially meet Johnny until a little bit later in the episode, but we see him working at Ezra's brand spanking new just erected overnight bookstore slash barista cafe. And he asks Arya how what he's working on looks, and she says, oh, yes, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, you're a really good liar, Arya. Which stood out to me a little bit because... They all pointed to Arya and said she's the best liar. Mm -hmm. Like, it's always, like, everything that has to do with liars always points back to Arya. Absolutely. She's a fucking... She pissed me off this episode so bad. Like, oh, everybody pity me. Like, A is torturing me. Like, F A is doing it to everyone. So shut the hell up. Like, you're, you're finally not the getting, fucking actually, only one. you're the... Yeah. You know, like, this you're, is seriously you, the first thing that A is... If it is A that's infiltrating, trying to get involved with preventing her to be in college really besides and I the mean, whole thing with the train which i don't believe was, was a, a but it's the first thing if it is a that's actually her getting, being done to her, her getting stapled to the wall or whatever you want to call it and then this happening but if marlene king said to us like oh don't worry a uh, aria will be next aria will be, will be the one that's targeted next blah 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 if this is her being targeted just her not getting into college i'm gonna be really fucking pissed because this bitch better get hit by a car or something because because <laughs> it's only fair. It is only fair. All the other girls had to take their fucking medicine, so now Aria should have to take her. Yes. Yes. Caleb sits there and tells Spencer his story about how he was working with people down in Allentown and somebody died and blah blah blah. Okay. I'm not going but, back to jail. I'm not gonna be questioned for murder again. But I was again, like, what the hell does that have to do with this knife? Like, I'm sorry, but he if was acting I, really, yeah, really, like really, really. And I love Caleb. Caleb's our favorite couple, but... Aside from Jashley, no. Well, yes. But honestly, if I picked up a fucking knife that looked like that knife, I think I would remember that. And not be like, I wonder if my fingerprints are on that targeting me for murder or for somebody else. Like, no, if he really honestly thought his fingerprints were on it, he should have been like, I used that knife to go... Fishing. Yeah. The other day. Or last I, year. I, I cut I gutted a deer when I yeah. was uh, when I was when I was AWOL and nobody knew where I was. I used that knife in Rosewood, in Ravenswood, on Miranda. Yes. He would know where he's used that. It, it that just, that's that's not a kitchen knife, okay? That's a fucking dagger. That was like that was Captain Hook's hand. Okay, that was that. Friggin Remember like when, when it, me, we and Gianna? Okay, me and Gianna were going through like this little stage, whatever, where we thought maybe Mona had the twin. I mean, not that we're not. Like I'm just saying, this was uh, a couple days ago, and we listened to the story again with the twins, and we were like, okay, take a picture of that knife, like with the twins when she's I on the ground. Take a picture of that. Take knife. a picture of that knife. We took a picture of that knife. We were like, okay, let's compare it with the one that that's in Mona's yard because maybe that's not Mona's. But, uh, murder, like, you know, murder weapon, whatever. Maybe that's from the twins' story. And we compared it. And we with compared that it. Too. We were like, what the fuck? Like, that knife was like, phew, it was like yeah. a samurai it, sword. It was like a freaking <laughs> what do you call that? A, a, a scythe or whatever the hell it's called? I don't know. All I know it's like huge. Grim Reaper kind of shit. All right, let's stop and start. All right.